Hello and welcome to episode 8, the final episode of the Human Comedy 1 hour endurance race series. For our final race, we're going to be focusing on Lake Majore. My chosen car for this race was the Mazda RX Vision GT3. There's no setup for this car as this race uses the BOP. So for our strategy, we're going to be starting on racing medium tyres. We're using a two-stop strategy. We're going to be pitting every 20 minutes for new medium tyres every single time and we're going to refuel to roughly 11 and a half laps. One thing that's really important to note for this race is I changed the racing difficulty to hard. When we start this race we're going to be starting in 12th place. As we're approaching turn 1 you'll be able to make 3 easy overtakes if you pull out to the left and break a little bit later and you'll be able to go past 3 AI with ease around turns one and two. Now there's two particularly fast cars on this track that you need to be mindful of, and that is Rubelar and Beauvoir. The aim for this race is to get ahead of those two cars as quickly as possible. Otherwise, once they're ahead, it's gonna be really difficult to overtake them. When you get to the S's part of the track here, this is the part of the track where you can make up the most time and as you can see here you can make up the most overtakes as the AI go particularly slow around this sector of the track. If you are close enough as well you can go for a cheeky dive bomb as we are approaching this hairpin. Just be mindful that the AI will do this move on you as well if you aren't going fast enough as this happened to me in one of my previous attempts and this ended up causing me to go off so I ended up restarting. As we are racing on the hard difficulty, this means that the AI will race you a lot more and they will be a lot more competitive. So just be mindful that in situations like this, as you can see here, I'm battling with Innistrosa, you will end up being slowed down. So it's really important to get past them as quickly as you can. And for me, it wasn't until lap nine that I actually ended up catching the leader. And as I spoke about before, the AI do go particularly slow through this S section. So this is where you can make up the most time. But Yamananka has a really good defensive line here. So we give him a little bit of a bump. And then we're going to end up pulling out to the right and then making the move at this hairpin. So we've now got roughly one and a half laps until our first pit stop. So now this is the time where we really need to create a large gap to the AI behind and luckily we were able to do that as you can see Rubelar has now gone into second place so we've got just over a seven second gap that is definitely going to help us on our way to win this race so we're fitting new racing medium tyres we're refueling to about 11 and a half laps and we're going to come out in sixth place The AI are running different strategies on this race, so around lap 14, people that are going for a one-stop will start to come in. As you can see, Coco Bun and Innistrosa are now in the pits, so we should be able to make up two places there. And the following lap, this is where we are going to take the lead as Miyazono is forming his pit stop as well. And on lap 20, we have about 20 minutes left. We are now gonna perform our second and final pit stop. Again, new racing medium tires, and we're gonna refuel to 11 and a half laps. After you have come out the pits for your second pit stop, you're most likely going to come out into traffic and therefore AI are going to be fighting each other. So just be mindful to not get slowed down as Yamananka pulls in front of us. 
Just try and get past the AI as quick as possible. Lap 24 was where I set my fastest lap, so I'm now going to run through it with you. For our braking point for turn one, we're braking in between the second and third lap markers. For turn two, we're dabbing on the brakes slightly, going down into first gear. And as we're going around the corner, you want about 50% on the accelerator. For turn three, we're going to come out to the right as wide as possible over the red and white curves on the left hand side. For turn four, our braking point is the Marshall hut on the right hand side. As we're approaching turn 5, our braking point is the red and white barrels on the right hand side. As we're approaching the S's, our braking point is as we're coming towards the red and white bourbon on the right hand side. For each of the three corners here, your aim is to position your car in the middle of the red and white bourbon. Approaching the hairpin, our braking point is this black square that's sticking out on the left hand side of the track. For the first of these two right handers, we're braking just before we get to the 50 metre point using both red and white curbs on the left and right hand side, staying in third gear. And on the exit, we're gonna position our car over the center of the red and white curbs. For the final corner, I was using the second blue board on the left hand side as the braking point. And we're over the line with a 157.8. And later on in this lap, coming up to the S's, we are closing in on first place. So nice that the AI go particularly slow through here, so this really creates a nice opening for the overtake. For this one, we're going to go around the outside and get the overtake done before we get to the hairpin. Similar to early on in the lap, now we're in first place, all we need to focus on is just putting in some consistent laps and increasing the gap to second place. With a bit of luck, at the end of lap 30, we've come home in first place, and that is all of the human comedy missions complete. As always, you know the drill by now, you're gonna get 1.2 million credits for finishing first. And for earning bronze in all of the human comedy challenges, you're going to earn the Fair Lady Z432. And for earning gold in all the human comedy missions, you're going to earn yourself the Aston Martin DB5. There we have it, at long last, all of the human comedy missions complete. On the left is going to be a link to the entire Gran Turismo 7 missions playlist and on the right will be a link to a random Gran Turismo 7 video.